We are going to move now to a plot twist straight out of Hollywood. Authorities in Ukraine called a news conference today to talk about the murder of a journalist apparently ordered by Russia. Suddenly a surprise witness appeared. Elizabeth Palmer picks up the story from there. Here's the moment Arkady Babchenko returned from the dead. I would like to apologize for what you've been through, he told journalists at a press conference. <clears throat> Ukrainian security officials then explained that his murder had actually been an elaborate hoax, which even fooled his wife, who believed he'd been shot dead. Outside their apartment last night, there was shock and grief. A colleague of Babchenko said what so many were thinking. This crime was ordered by Russia. The implication that Babchenko was just the latest in a long line of Russian activists suspected of having been murdered by agents of the Russian state. It's true Babchenko was an outspoken critic of the Kremlin. In fact, he left Moscow for Ukraine last year, saying he feared for his life, and got a job as a TV anchor in Kiev. Today, Ukraine's security chief claimed that two months ago, a man with Russian connections hired a hitman to kill Babchenko for $30,000. But the hitman didn't do the job. Instead, he helped police stage Babchenko's murder. And this morning, the Ukrainians say they arrested the man who'd ordered the killing. At Babchenko's TV station, his colleagues were overjoyed to hear he was alive. But there's also a lot of anger out there tonight, Jeff. By collaborating with authorities, essentially to make fake news, Babchenko's critics say that he has undermined serious journalism everywhere, not least in Russia. Yeah, what a story. Liz Palmer, thank you.